What's going on guys and welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're taking a look at the new game that came out this Friday, at least the normal version did. But let's not waste any more time and get into the game. We are ready, my king. Tell me, Zanakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Dude... I got goosebumps, man. Okay, we're playing. Dude, he's a beast! R1 for light attack. Press L1 and X for bull rush. Okay. This is like an... Oh, this dude is tougher. How do you block? Oh, we're getting like, ass kicked. Two seems to do something different, like a more range type type of an attack. Not range, but increasing the immediate range, I guess. Maybe it's just a heavy attack. I'm not sure. So what's that count at the top of the screen? Is that like the enemy count or something? The top right, that's, that's 42.
They're retreating. Obviously, this is heavily inspired from 300. I mean, even this guy's mask looks like, like the Immortals. I think they call them Immortals. Was easy. We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing when Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of... Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Finally. Big, Layla, did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Choose. I mean, we had no problems with the with the intro, so I'm actually thinking about a hard or even nightmare. Full speed ahead. Still hard. I want to see everything this baby's got. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. Let me know if it's too intense for you. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Let's go with exploration mode. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go on, if this book is right, this spear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? 
I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. Alright. Alexios. Oh. Is this like the character? Oh, select your hero, okay. Cassandra, Alexios. We're going with Alexios. I don't think... Yeah, we're going with Alexios. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of the Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Owen Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! The Cyclops said fight you these like guys. to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his death. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Okay, you need to time it. You can't hold it. Don't call us shit face again, okay? Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ah. <sighs> What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? That, that, Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Not have you Apparently spell not. Phoebe. <laughs> of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. Not this again, so she's been asking for this before, I guess. Phoebe. <sighs> We've been over this. 
I know, I know. He's just an eagle. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcos's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, Alright, let's find him. I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> what, she wants money? I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. You're dead. Nah, let's just. Fun's over. over Tell that one eyed freak if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top. Alright, that's a fun start. Oh, he's fast. He's really fast. Uh, okay, so I guess the number in the top right is your level, I suppose. So when we were King Leonidas, he was level 42 and this dude is level 1. Um. I'm not going to get caught without armor twice today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get this on. All right, let's take a look at the inventory. A bandit sword. Um, is is this what he calls dressed? Just a piece of leather straps. <laughs> All right. Uh, find and talk to Marcus. Marcus bought a new vineyard on Capalonia. He's in the southern part of Mount Ainos. So I guess there's gonna be a lot of exploring in this game, so I might do a few cuts. See what's down here. It's a dude over here. Let's talk to him. Oh, he's he's uh, angry. Okay. So we can carry our the corpses, which I think you could do even back in Assassin's Creed 2. Wrecked loot treasure. Where is the treasure? Is this the treasure? No. 
All right. There's got to be something down here, I think. Right, there's a... This is the treasure. Okay. Uh, we got some scale gauntlets and some money. Dude, look at this. Like, I fucking love the landscape. Uh, yes. This place is pretty, pretty big. Yeah, this this map is huge. Macedonia. So how do you zoom in? All right. Um. Well, we're going to Mount Inos on the other side, so I guess somewhere around here. We're gonna continue to our objective. We're gonna stop by any question marks that we come across on the way. Okay. That's what I get for sparing you. No manners. Oh, is this the same guys? I don't know what these guys are doing. You're close to your target. Let's take a look at this place first. Oh, wh what's going on here? Looks like this place is burned down. Like had a fire accident or something. What's happened here? Actually, no. Nah, we're going back. Uh, we need to find this Marcus guy. Alright, let's take a look at Icarus again. I just have a feeling that we need to use Icarus. That's us. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. All right, that's Marcus. We got it. <laughs> Boss, I I keep telling you 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 can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. 
I can still hear you. <laughs> I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? <laughs> you don't know how to make wine. Because you <laughs> don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, Damn. my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. <laughs> Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine. But I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. One in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Hmm. Ah. I the like right the one? look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. Tell me about this one. And left one? The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one on the left. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Derpy. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. 